Hi. You must be the new girl. Hi. You must be Miss Russo. I'm Kat. <laughs> yes, that is me. But you can call me Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm your new assistant. <laughs> we don't shake hands here. We hug. Oh, okay. Is that your wife? Hmm? Oh, yeah. But let's not focus on her. I want to know more about you. Tell me about your goals. Well, it's my dream to be the head of an agency too, sir. Like you. Wow. That's good. Just remember, in this business, it's not about what you know, but about who you know. So, just make me happy, and I'll make sure you get ahead in no time. Yes, sir. Thank you. There she is. <laughs> Congratulations, <Aww>. baby. <laughs> Baby, it has always been your dream to work for this company. And I couldn't be more proud of you. Mm-hmm. Honey, what's wrong? Did something happen at work? It was good. Except for my boss. He's a little creepy. How so? Just the way he looks at me. I feel like he's always checking me out. <laughs> but it's probably just in my mind. He has a wife. That's not good. Baby, if he is like this on your first day, it is only going to keep getting worse. I know. But Harvey is one of the top executives in the agency. I need him to get ahead. Baby, look at me. I'm telling you this as your mother. You are so smart. And you don't need him or anyone to succeed. Thanks. But in this business, it's not what you know. It's who you know. I'll see how it goes. Something smells good here. Oh yes, French vanilla, my favorite. <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about the coffee. I was talking about you. <sighs> you smell like, like a flower. Thank you, sir. Anyhow, um, are you coming to the company dinner tonight? Oh, no. I, I didn't know. And I actually have plans. Hmm. Missing a company event. That doesn't look good. I thought you wanted to get ahead. Um, yes, of course, I do. I'll be there. Don't forget. Dress to impress. Hi. Where is everyone? What? It, am I not enough for you? <laughs> oh no, I meant where are all the other employees? I thought this was a company dinner. Mm. Yeah, they couldn't make it. Which works out better for us. Champagne? Harvey, you have a wife. <laughs> that doesn't matter. We'll keep this our little secret. I'm sorry, but I'm not comfortable. <sighs> Is that any way to treat your boss? I thought you wanted to get ahead. I could give you a promotion, you know. You are 
are so smart. And you don't need him or anyone. Yes, I do want to get ahead. But not like this. I can succeed on my own. I thought I told you. In this industry, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Well, I'm sorry. But I don't need you to be successful. I'm going to start my own agency, and I'm going to be even more successful than you. <laughs> oh. You'll never make it in this industry. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Kat was devastated. She went home and cried to her mom over what happened. Meanwhile, Harvey was back to his same old ways and continued being inappropriate with his new assistant. The new assistant wasn't having it either and reported him to the police for sexual harassment. Over time, Kat regained her strength and started researching how to start her own business. Her career started going up while Harvey's started going down. He ended up in jail for sexual harassment and got fired from his job. He lost everything and had to start all over. Kat eventually started her own agency and became one of the most successful women in the industry. On the other hand, Harvey was having a hard time finding a new job because no other agency would hire him. Then one day, their paths crossed again. You must be Harvey. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm here applying for the new open position. Hi. Long time no see. Cat? Ha! I had no idea you were the assistant at this agency. Oh, well, I'm here to see your boss. Oh. Actually, I am the boss. And you can call me Miss Jackson. Wow, um, I'm sorry, uh, well, <laughs> I got fired from my last job, so um, I'm looking for work. I'm sorry, but I don't think you'll be a good fit here. You see, in this industry, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And I've called every agency in town to let them know all about you. Good luck to you, Harvey. You can see yourself out. A recent study found that almost 50% of women have experienced sexual harassment in the workplace. That means almost one out of two women. And what's even scarier is a lot of researchers have found that that number is actually increasing every year. The difficult part about the issue is that the abusers are usually people in a position of power who use their power to take advantage of those in a lower position. But for women out there, what's important to remember is that you don't need any man to be successful. You're perfectly capable of being successful on your own. And to all the great men out there, you can also do your part in helping raise awareness to the issue not only to protect your female co-workers but your male co-workers as well as sexual harassment happens to both men and women i read an alarming stat that almost 90 percent of incidents go unreported because victims are too afraid of retaliation if you are a victim of sexual harassment please know don't be ashamed of your story as your story may be what inspires someone else to speak up as well Hey, what's up Facebook fam? It's Dar. I hope you love that message. Now it's time for us to choose our $100 giveaway winner. This time we've got Tamara L. Wagner who shared my last video. Anyone can enter my giveaways. All the details are pinned at the top of my comments. And please remember, I'll never message you saying you won. I'll always announce the winners at the end of my video. So please don't fall for those scams. Good luck to you and I'll see you in the next video.